The new McLean Ozark Distribution Center is located seven miles southwest of Springfield in Republic, Missouri. Its central U.S. location and close proximity to several major highways, combined with the capacity and capabilities of the new D.C., allows McLean to efficiently deliver to all of Missouri, Kansas, half of Arkansas, half of Nebraska, and most of Oklahoma, and our reach continues to grow. The new 370,000 square foot distribution center sits on 132 acres of lush farmland. The facility is equipped with the most sophisticated state-of-the-art conveyor and robotic systems available in the industry, all designed and manufactured by Schaefer Systems International Incorporated. The Republic facility is especially unique among all McLean's 40 distribution centers because rather than building outward like most of our DCs, the Ozark facility was built upward to greatly reduce the size of our carbon footprint while at the same time significantly reducing our construction costs. Equally impressive, the Ozark facility is the single largest geothermal temperature controlled and cooling installation ever implemented in the United States. McLean's world-class, 10-story, completely automated and environmentally friendly distribution center represents magnificent innovation. In its most basic capacity, the new McLean Ozark Distribution Center receives a myriad of retail product on shipper pallets and then redistributes its inventory to national client locations via three unique packaging options, as whole pallets, as cardboard cases, and as single cell items. Let's take a tour of this one-of-a-kind facility. There are two main areas in this distribution center, inbound or storage, and outbound or shipping. Let's start in the receiving area so you can see how products come into the distribution center. When product trucks arrive at the Ozark facility, they are unloaded and scanned by teammates using wrist-held computers. If an item has not previously been taught in to the system, it must go through the teach-in process, which weighs, measures, and captures a 3D image of the newly added product. Once the product has been taught in to the system, the system will assign its optimal path throughout the entire distribution center. And from this point onward, the artificial intelligence which controls the DC knows where, when, and how to distribute the product. The DC teammates then move the received products to robotic pallet exchanger stations. These machines secure, lift, rotate, and replace traditional wooden shipper pallets with McLean's custom-built system pallets. This step of the process ensures consistency among pallet characteristics. Additionally, system pallets are barcoded to identify and control the inventory they hold, and multiple sensors embedded in conveyor systems read the barcodes as the pallet moves throughout the DC. Received product slated to be stored in the High Bay area moves to one of four automated stretch wrapping stations. The arms of these stations spin around the stacked product, wrapping it in airtight plastic film to keep all the items securely in place. Take a moment to consider the speed and power of these incredible robotic arms. Manually, a person can wrap about 10 pallets per hour. By comparison, McLean's wrapping stations can wrap 40 pallets per hour. And with four wrapping stations, that's 160 wrapped pallets per hour. All merchandise is stored in the climate-controlled automated storage and retrieval system, also known as the High Bay. Here, eight robotic cranes equipped with telescopic pallet jacks run the 175-foot length of the storage area, slotting inventory as high as 105 feet, or the equivalent to 14 stacked pallets. The retractable forks slide out to place or retrieve product stored on system pallets from either side of the eight bays. The cranes run their tracks independently, judging exact distance by laser beam. When a pallet is needed from the high bay to fill a customer order, the system retrieves the pallet and sends it to one of two stations, de-layering or de-trashing. 
Full case system pallets can be delayered automatically or manually. For automatic delayering, there are two robots. Each robot removes one layer of cases through side pressure and vacuum suction with its giant robotic arm. A complete layer of cases is thus removed from a system pallet and placed on a system tray. These robots safely and quickly delayer up to 180 pallet layers per hour. The trays with full cases are transferred from the delayering area and stored in one of over 27,000 tray storage locations. Detrash is the other area pallets retrieved from the high bay get distributed to. In this area, single cell or break pack items are readied for storage and retrieval. Discarded boxes and wrappers are tossed onto a conveyor belt above to be sent to the baler compactor area where they are prepared for recycling. The white system tubs are then transported to storage carousels until it is time to fulfill an order. The logic used here is extremely complex to say the least, but to summarize, the artificial intelligence determines the optimum location for products to be stored in the storage carousels. The end goal of the AI is to keep family groups of products together. Once a product is ordered, the carousel spins until the item can be easily accessed. Next, a carousel shuttle moves the white system tub from the carousel to the pick-to-tote station. Our 12 pick-to-tote stations were designed to have four white system tubs above and up to seven red system totes below. A teammate fills orders listed on the computer screen in front of them, placing counted items from white system tubs into the outgoing red system totes. McLean's leadership team always keeps teammates' best interests in mind. Therefore, the workplace conditions were designed with the greatest regard toward creating effective ergonomics and safe work procedures. Once the piece count of the red tote is met, the tote automatically shifts to the loader conveyor line and moves forward where totes are checked, weighed, measured, and then strapped. In our highly secure cigarette area, we have four of the largest state-of-the-art stamping machines available. In this area, we weigh and digitally record images of every cigarette carton in every tote. Then the totes are closed and strapped. And since all totes are red and get strapped, no one knows what's in the tote until it arrives at the customer's location. Based on the shipping progress of the case picking system, red shipping totes are released at precisely the right time so that they can merge with cases in the Schaefer case pick module. In the Schaefer case pick module, system trays are retrieved from their storage locations by Schaefer tray shuttles and case wheeler lift units. The 24 Schaefer tray shuttle units handle the horizontal tray transportation, reaching speeds of up to 20 miles per hour and picking up two trays at once. The 24 case wheeler lifts handle the vertical tray transportation, bringing individual trays to the case wheelers, which roll off one or more individual cases from the trays onto the shootout and window conveyors. Then each case is separated, aligned, identified by a vision system, labeled, and scanned prior to being merged with the shipping totes. There are six window conveyors, which merge with 12 long accumulation conveyors, transporting the cases and shipping totes to the 12 loading dock doors. Now on to the loading area. This is where all of our state-of-the-art technology comes together to ensure every order ships to our valued customers with 100% accuracy. All the cases and totes coming out of the Schaefer case pick module are grouped by truck stop. For each truck stop, a train of cases is released first, followed by a train of totes. Full pallets can also be loaded into our trucks. Well, that completes our tour. We hope this informational video gives you some insight into our amazing Ozark facility. The Ozark facility is a superior environment which enhances productivity and provides a safe workplace for all of McLean's outstanding employees. Our teammates enjoy working at the Ozark facility and our new friends and neighbors in Republic say they're glad McLean is here.